Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Corpus HD. Welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out this 2019 Ford Mustang. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and get straight on with the review. Now this body style of the Ford Mustang came out for the 2018 model year and this, this body style just looks so ridiculously sporty and it's also very exotic and uh, very aerodynamic as well. Now I must say this car just looks absolutely incredible especially with the cool rear spoiler and as well as the full rear end design of this car. It just looks absolutely fantastic. One noticeable change to the exterior of this Mustang is this rear window. So now on regular Mustangs this is just a plain rear window but as you can see this one here has, has louvers and whenever you drive it those do kind of slightly block visibility but it ain't crazy. They just look absolutely incredible. As well as this rear spoiler. As you can see, this rear spoiler is also aftermarket from the regular Ford Mustang GT, and it just looks absolutely incredible. It's kind of like multicolor. As you can see, it's black, a little bit of blue right in the center, and it just looks incredible. And that's not the only bit of blue trimming on the exterior of this car. You'll also notice it on the Pegasus panel as well. You notice it a little bit in his hair, on the eyes, on the wings. You will also notice a little bit in the center of the wheel spokes as well. As you can see, this is it says Pegasus. This is the Pegasus Mustang. You also notice a blue Pegasus badge on the side of the car, and that's actually 3D printed. That's actually not standard. You will also notice a blue RTR badge. Again, this here is also 3D printed. You will also notice a little bit of blue on the rear end of this car as well. Again, with the other 3D printed Pegasus GT badge on the back of it as well, and you will also notice it on the rear diffuser as well. Well, that's some of the blue um, details on the exterior of this car. There's also a lot of carbon fiber on, on details. You have carbon fiber along the outside of the rear lights, it looks really, which looks really, really good. You also have a gigantic carbon fiber hood vent on the hood of this car as well. And those are some of the cool textured body panels on the exterior of this car, and it just looks absolutely incredible. Let's take a look at some of the aero on the outside of this car. You can notice this car has some cool, has a cool, has some cool side uh, canards on the side as well. It also has a really nice looking front splitter up front as well to add a little bit more aerodynamic um, arrowy bits onto the exterior of this car. As well, check out this rear diffuser. It just looks absolutely incredible. It's blue and black and just looks sick. Taking a look more at the front end, as you can see, the, the grill is just absolutely distinctively Mustang. Right? If you look at this grill, you automatically know it's a Mustang. However, this is actually the top of this front grill is actually an RTR front grill. So it actually has these side lights on the side and they just look absolutely incredible on this car. As well as the headlights of this car are distinctively Mustang as well. They look so aggressive inside of this car, on the, on the exterior of this car to bring this, to get the this car a really sporty look. So that's some of the cool style elements on the exterior of this car. Now let's go ahead and move on to the interior of this car to check out the rest, the rest of the cool parts and features. However, before we can move inside, you take a look in the door frame and you can see the nice looking Mustang badge in the center. Welcome you to your Mustang experience the second you walk inside. And taking a look at the interior, as you can see, this, this interior is one of, well, probably one of the most sportiest interiors I think I've ever seen in my life. Camaros are, have cool interiors as, as well, but this one here just has a little bit more of a, of a thrill in it. You think, like when you ever see this interior, it's a little bit more of an experience sitting inside your car. And as well as these seats, they feel incredible. The seats are nice, thickly bolstered. They're designed to really hold you in place while on the racetrack or mainly just driving around. And on the back of the seat, you can see the nice looking Mustang badge on the back of the seat with two little lines on the, to kind of represent racing stripes. And they look pretty cool. Moving on to the interior of this car. And this is one really cool place to be. As you can see, it got this really nice steering wheel with the side of it being Alcantara as well as this carbon fiber on the top with a really cool nice looking blue 12 o'clock stitching or paint on top of it as well that can bring a little bit more of a sporty feel on the inside of it with the mustang badge right in the middle as well this is one really cool steering wheel to look at and it's really really grippy whenever you drive it of course right in the middle you do have you do have five climate control vents just on the just on the front of this car in the, in the driver's compartment. You've got these three right here in the middle and they're in carbon fiber as well. And as you can see, they just look absolutely incredible on the inside of this car. Now, most Mustangs, they have it like this. This is how most climate control vents in this car are. Even It's even like this in newer Mustangs as well. And it just looks really, really cool. You've also got another climate control vent to the left of the gauge cluster. We're talking about the gauge cluster. Look at this gauge cluster. It just looks absolutely 
incredible. It's one of the coolest looking gauge clusters I think I have ever seen in most cars that I've ever been inside of. It's a really cool looking futuristic gauge cluster. Talking more on the steering wheel, let's go ahead and talk about some of the cool functions on the steering wheel. Now on the left side, here's all of your basic center screen controls. Of course, you've got your volume control right here. As you can see, as I press this button right here, the volume gets increased, as you can see. And it's really cool to see. And of course, right here is how you would change the track and stuff like that, just like what you would find in any car. Down here at the bottom, of course, you got everything for the cruise control. If you got inside of this car, you automatically know how everything inside of this car cruise control wise would work. So I'm not going to really feature that. And right up here, here is you got all the all, all the really cool center screen off um, gauge cluster screen options. I'll get to that in a second. And right down here, here's all of your phone media and stuff like that. Opening up the center screen, here are some of the really cool things where you can actually configure what is displayed on this center screen. So if you press OK on the steering wheel, it will be opens right up to this. And here's where you can actually choose many, many different options to groups to be displayed. Or you can just make sure your digital the, the uh, speedometer, your distance to empty for the gas. You also got your tire pressure. You also and here's where you can actually change more options about it. You can make it say the air fuel ratio. And here's you can actually see the air fuel. You can actually see the gauge to check your air fuel ratio. You also got your vacuum gauge, and you also got a voltage gauge up top as well. And then you also got your engine oil temperature, an inlet air temperature, cylinder head temperature, and stuff like that. It's a really cool thing to see. For like for the center screen wise. Checking out some more options inside of you. If you go into trip slash fuel, here's where you will actually see all your different like travel settings. So here you got like your trip odometer and your miles to empty, like your mi average miles per gallon. And here's where you would use to check through all that. And of course you scroll down, you can actually set two trips inside of here. And it's transparent just the same as I think. Or you can make it show your average fuel economy, which is kind of an interesting thing to see. It also, the top right, it also lets you know the direction you are facing as well. Of course, how many miles this car has. But this car here is daily driven, which is kind of an interesting thing about this car, because you do not know. And you also got your fuel history. This actually shows your best um, miles per gallon that you have had ever since you first started driving the car. And that's a pretty cool thing to see. Now, if we go down to track apps, here you can see all of your different performance metrics. Now, here you got your acceleration timers. Now, what this is, it pretty much is like a zero to 60 counter because this car does have launch control. So, as you can see, you can actually make it count your zero to 30 miles an hour, your zero to 60 miles an hour, your zero to 100 miles an hour, and even your quarter mile times as well. And it's kind of an interesting thing to see and things though it is only for track or for track only use and it's a kind of interesting thing to see brake performance now you can here's where you could actually use to test your 60 to zero miles an hour and here's like you text the te it pretty much tells you like your performance for the braking because you know this car does also have good braking as well and what that's pretty much is there for is just to let you know like how fast you can go from like you can go from like from a certain speed to a dead stop and it's kind of seen you got two different modes 60 and one zero 60 to zero and 100 to zero miles an hour and it's kind of cool to see then we got line locks now if you guys don't know what line lock is line lock is basically like a way to do a burnout. It helps you warm out your tires on the drag strip to give to help you warm up your tires, makes them a little bit more grippy for the best possible performance on the on the drag strip. Because this car does have a drag strip mode, and I'll tell you guys how to go through all the different drive modes here and shortly. Here you got your lap timers. Now what lap timer is, is it technically lets you know like like whenever you just go through a lap, you can actually set where you want the lap to be. Like where you want it to like reset, you can actually see how like what your best lap is. You can actually do a lap timer, so you can always know, hey, I messed up on this lap. I got to do a little bit better. It's pretty much like a history, so you can let you, it can let you know your average track time. Then we go down to launch control. So if you go down to launch control, here's you can actually set the variable RPM that you would want to launch at. As you can see, you can go all the way up to 5,500 RPM, but you can choose what on what RPM you think is the most op as most optimal RPM. For launching your car and here and then this next up we go to rev match now this right here turns on and off the automatic rev match and whenever i drove whenever i drive at the very very end of the video you will be able to see that whenever i downshift the car will rev up to a certain rpm you can actually turn that off where you can do it with your regular feet where you can get used to it but this right here turns on and off automatic rev match and that's pretty cool to see inside of a car like this now we go down to driver assist now what driver assist is and pretty much it turns on and off the engine whenever you're at a stoplight and of course, you also got your heel start assist, and you also got your rear parking aid. It can, it can low, like it'll beep at you, and if you're about to hit something, so you can always have, so you can always know how what it's like. Going into going into settings here, as you can see, I'm trying to get a good angle here. 
you got your vehicle, your average vehicle settings, as you can see. Going into vehicle settings, now vehicle settings is kind of like what you would find in any other car. If you go down to my color, here's where you can actually use to actually scroll through all the different ambient light options, also the gauge color and stuff like that. Here you can actually set your my color. You can actually go through any color on the rainbow that, that you want and it's pretty interesting to see red green and blue and stuff like that thing is it's most it's most best viewed at night so i'm not going to really do anything that i really think can mess up this car so i'm not going to go through that and the settings right down here is where you would use to go through all your different display settings like if you go to click on the distance you can actually make it show l to one l to 1000 and stuff like that it's pretty much all of your normal gauge cluster options which is really cool to see speaking of the gauge cluster like i said of course you've got your tachometer and your speedometer and it just looks really cool inside of this car so that's pretty much most of the gauge cluster options inside of this car and it does look really really cool one interesting thing just that you may notice immediately is right here in the center you have four toggle switches now each one of these toggle switches is is used to adjust a different how the car drives now right over here is the drive mode dial right here is the steering field dial traction control button and this right here is the hazard light button that's pretty much what this is right here and of course when you click up on the drive mode selector here is where you can actually see all of your different drive modes if i click I'll click up on it again of course you got normal you got sport plus you got track drag strip and then also snow and slash wet mode but of course you cannot have this car without putting it in track mode the only difference about track about track mode though is that it automatically turns off traction control so no matter what you cannot have traction control on with track with track mode on and if you click up on this dial right here here's where you can actually choose the steering feel options now sport here's the sport steering feel and then you also got comfort steering feel and then you also got normal steering feel but you have to have the sporty steering and then of course this right here is what you would use to then turn on and off the traction control but you also got your, your nice like a start slash stop button as well and it just looks really cool to see and here in the right here above that here you got all of your climate control settings of course you got your max for the windshield defroster your rear windshield defroster or say this here's the rear windshield defroster and this right here is the front windshield defroster and this right here is what you would use to adjust the fan speed whenever you adjust the fan speed it actually pops it up on the center screen here as well which is kind of a really neat thing to watch inside of this car you also got max ac as well and then right here is where you would actually use to adjust the uh, temperature you would actually click up on this tab right here and it would raise and lower the temperature just like this and this car does have dual zone climate control so as you can see if i do this side it then changes the side it then changes the passenger side climate controls temperature as well and it just looks really cool to see you be able to see all the cool different options inside the center screen on the, on the outside of those you got two you got four blanks but switches on the exterior of this car as well and these have no function they do not work they do absolutely nothing but it still looks really cool to see but still the coolest thing is surrounding this whole this whole center this whole center control stack it's surrounded by carbon fiber and it just looks absolutely incredible to see inside of this car as well remember that texture that was on the gt500 well the same texture is on the newer mustang as well as you can see i'm still not exactly sure what texture this is but this texture does not look that bad it's actually kind of cool to see you can also adjust the radio stations by this by these two switches right here in the center as well and this right here actually completely turns off all the all, like all the audio and actually just shows this on the center screen of course you can turn it back on again and it will show every single thing that you are listening to and it's kind of cool to see and this right here is of course the play button to actually help you help you stop and play on the uh, radio of course just click this button right here and this right here is what you would use to adjust the bass mid-range and treble as you can see as i click on these it also beeps with for you as well here's what you would use to adjust the, the uh the treble and the bass and all of your normal radio settings of course i'm going to keep it right there where it was of course you also got your phone your climate and this right here is another way to adjust the climate controls on the center of this car you could do it through these buttons right here in the center but you could also do it up here as well as you can see here's where you can actually select where you want the air to come out just like what you would find in any car you also got your circulation button right here your rear front windshield the frost your fan speed all of your normal climate control it works just like it's just like the controls here in the center, this is just on the center screen. Let's go over to audio, and here's where you can actually see all your different radio stations that are currently displayed. In here, you go over to the settings tab, and here's where you can see all of your cool options and stuff like that. Of course, you go back to sound, that's of course that's your mid bass, mid range, and treble, and stuff like that. Go over the clock, and here's where you would use to adjust your clock and stuff like that. Of course, you go over to the Bluetooth, you got all your Bluetooth options, phone, stuff like that. 
It's just like what you would see in any car. I'm going to go back to the settings tab here. You also got mobile apps, 911 assist, and stuff like that. You also got all of your vehicle settings and stuff right here in the center as well. You've got camera settings here. You can actually use to adjust all the camera options as well. And enhanced parking aid. You know, kind of like what you would find in any other car. It's kind of cool to see. Now, valet mode. Valet mode is a really cool thing to enable. So, what valet mode is, is let's say if you're handing this car over to a valet, but you know, most people are very cautious when handing their car over to a valet. That's pretty much like what this is for. And you can actually put in a pin and it'll actually limit the car to a certain amount of horsepower to make sure that the um, valet does not do anything crazy whenever you're driving the car. And that's pretty much most of the settings, like most different settings inside of this car. But everything else is kind of like what you would find in any car. I have not been able to find anything weird or crazy inside the center of this car, but it looks really cool to see. Of course, you also got the shifter, and the shifter of this car just feels incredible. It's an absolutely incredible shifter. It's really, really tight and easy to use. It's a nice, quick, and easy shifter. And it kind of, it's definitely much quicker and much easier to use than the uh, GT500, but I must say, and I also love the automatic rev matching, this car shifter does feel really, really good whenever you're driving it. Also, just like the GT500, you do also have a really cool looking handbrake as well, and it just looks absolutely awesome. It's so cool. And then it's just like any other parking brake, you would use it just like any other parking brake that you would find in any car. It works just like any other parking brake, and it's pretty cool. Door panel controls are nothing too interesting. It's just like what you would find in any of your cars. Like, again, I'm not going to feature those. Of course, on the left is jingle, you got all of your light controls and stuff like that. That's pretty much all of the normal settings inside here. You got your turn signal stocks. This works just like any other turn signal stock. But the one thing that's really cool about the turn signal stock is that it's wrapped in carbon fiber, and it looks really cool. Of course, you also got your windshield, your um, windshield wiper stock. It's, it looks, pretty much it looks the same, uh, just like you would find in like a new Ford Focus and something kind of like that. And that's pretty much most of the front options inside of this car that you can get. Of course, you also got your your cup holders inside of here as well. You also got your glove box. This works. This looks just like any other glove box. There's nothing too interesting about the center, or technically this is actually a center control, center console storage. And over here you got your glove box, and to open this thing up, we got simply do, just push down this button right here, and then it'll fall down. And of course, there you got your glove box, and it looks just like any other glove box. And so, that's the 2019 Ford Mustang, and now for the, now for the fun part, it's time to get this car out on the road to see how it drives. Alright y'all, here we go y'all. Driving the new Mustang, and I must say, this car just has the best exhaust note I think I have ever heard in my life. Me looking at this, well, I better not do it right here. But wow. The cool thing I like about this car is, is that it has automatic rev match, which, is make, which makes it very easy for me to drive. This is 
a big old heavy car, so that guess that probably does some of the work for you. But it's unreal at how like easy this car is to drive. This car is for the people who want to go fast, but not too fast. Now the rear visibility of this one you can kind of probably see in the video. The rear visibility on this one at least is not really the best. You do have the loopers blocking your path just a little bit. But I'm pretty sure regular Mustangs, they probably are not really that bad. Again, yeah, that means more fuzz mode, so let's go ahead and put it up into track mode. basically law that you do this underneath the tunnel. You got to do that underneath the tunnel. Basically law. If you don't do that, then you should not be owning a Mustang. Oh, oh, in, oh, in track mode, it automatically turns off traction control. So while I guess until then, I'll put it in Sport Plus so I don't accidentally spin it out. And now I'll put it back up into that's steering. Drag through track mode. There's also steering gear. We got, we got sport mode, I'm with the sport steering. Here we got comfort. Oh wow, it lightens up the steering so much. What else do we got? Uh, and then there's normal steering. Oh, that makes it heavier. Now that we're back in track mode, now I can have some serious fun with this car. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this car, like I said. There we go, got done with the Instagram video. And so that's the Ford. And that's so that's the 2019 Ford Mustang. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure you guys go hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and also go ahead and go drop a like on this video to support me in the channel. Also, you guys, go subscribe to all my other YouTube channels. They're gonna all be linked in the description box down below, as well as my social media. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Peace out.